fellas, it's Zachary. Welcome to Burn Downs Country Kitchen. Today we're gonna get after potato skin bombs. That's what I'm calling them. Stuffed potato bacon, potato skin bombs. Ah, sounds good to me, right? Let's get after these ingredients. All right, make sure it don't matter what kind of potatoes you use, whatever kind you like. I'm a big fan of red potatoes. Um, just love them. Love the heck out of them. So of course we got you know some ranch seasoning because I'm gonna stuff these chicken bacon ranch style. Um, the bacon will come in later, but it's gonna be good, y'all. All right, so we got our we got our ranch, pepper, salt, taters. Got some chicken here. Of course we got our bacon. Back here, I got some foil and a steak knife. That'll get us started, y'all. Let's get out the cooking. First thing we want to do, is go ahead and poke, poke a bunch of holes in here. Let that potato cooking nice and evenly all throughout, right? Okay, I, I lied. Look, first thing you want to do is wash off your taters. Otherwise, you're just going to taste dirt the whole time. And I don't know a lot of people like to eat dirt. So. Unless you're a five-year-old boy, probably not going to want it. They got to be a bunch, but definitely want to get them in there. Get your oven preheated to 450 degrees. We'll get them in there until you can poke a knife right on through and there's no resistance. Everything's nice and soft inside. Next, go ahead and get our foil here. Put your tater in there. A little oil rubbed around on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and get some seasoning on there, right? Give her a nice little flip. Get that other side. The oil just helps it stick. That's all. all right. Just gonna close it up. Shove that bad boy in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. Feel it nice and soft. Time to just chuck these bad boys in there. Like I said, we're at uh, 450, probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so I thought I had some bacon bits. I can't find them nowhere. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and do a strip of bacon. I just cut it in half. We'll go ahead and knock that out on here right quick. That only take a couple minutes. We're gonna want some fresh bacon in there as well. So. All right, this is just some cut up chicken that I had left over from Dirty Birds. Yeah, we're just gonna brown them up, get them nice and cooked. There's no way I want for all chicken, all right? Yeah, if you wanna see the Dirty Birds video as well, uh, you can go look that one up. I did that one last year when we went when, when we went and rented a cabin. I had to get that out, didn't I? When we when we went. <laughs> All right. And this can be just a little pink in the middle. It won't matter um, because it is getting cooked a second time. So you could do it al dente so it's not dry. Those are looking good. Uh, you know this thing's missing some fresh garlic, right? Yeah. Some of that garlic flavor up in there. Up in there. Yeah. Man. 
That smells so good. Just mix it around in there. Definitely want that garlic. That's actually looking pretty good. All right, that's looking good and done. Let me get that off. Next, we're going to cut some of this chicken up into smaller pieces. We're not going to want them big. Not too big, anyways. I went ahead and cleaned my bowl out. Got that grease and whatever left in there out of there. Seeing we already cut up our bacon. Get that in there. We won't need a lot of this. You can use Hidden Valley. I just got this at the Dollar Tree. It wasn't expensive, but it's okay. For to cook like this with, I wouldn't like make ranch dressing with it or nothing. Just to give it some flavor. That'd be all right. It's maybe like half a teaspoon, nothing big. It's inherently salty. Plus you got the bacon, so you wanna watch out for that. Watch out for that. So we've got our homemade ranch here. Mix it in. Y'all see me do this before. Nothing special. Just some chicken, some bacon, and some ranch. But you could also do this with pizza or Philly cheesesteak. Anything you want to shove in there, jalapeno popper, anything. Really? What are you going, buddy? Get back in there. Pepper. Well, I can't help but think I'm missing an opportunity here. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw some cheese up in there and we'll mix that in as well. Anytime you have an opportunity to use cheese, do it. I mean, think about it. It's cheese, y'all, with bacon. Come on now. You get half a chance, you do. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Till them taters are uh, just soft enough to tear into, and then uh, we'll be back. These are some hot potatoes. Uh, they just uh, came out. We'll go ahead and get them out of the wrappers here. Just spoil. Let them cool off for a couple minutes so we don't just get completely burnt up, huh? I haven't ever seen this done. This is kind of just in my head. I'm, it may have been, I'm sure it has, but I haven't seen it. Um, looks so good already. I kind of know how it's gonna go, or at least how I hope it goes. These are just gonna be delicious. Let them cool off for a couple minutes and uh, we'll be back after it. Right, these are nice and cooled off. We're just gonna go ahead and Start hauling out the centers. Be careful, you don't want to tear through it. That could happen quickly. Now leave as much or as little as you want.
Man, look at that. Should be pretty darn good, aren't they? Got a little pepper to them. A little pepper to the party. We don't need salt. Uh, we have enough stuff that's salty. We'll be all right. Just throw a little bit of cheese in all of this. Every single one of them. Tell you what, these bigger ones are going to be good. It'll be hearty. That is for sure. Right, so now I'm going to go ahead and get this filling here and say the heck with the fork. Let's go ahead and Get dirty. Look at that. We're gonna fill up absolutely every side. Just like that. Make sure every single one of them is filled up. Sometimes you just gotta get in there and get messy. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and top them off the cheese, of course. Why wouldn't we, right? Perfect. Of course, we got a ranch. We ain't done with that. Just like that, y'all. Here comes the fun part. Just go ahead and put them together as if they were still one potato. Like that, and squish it down. All right? And we'll go ahead and take our bacon here. Stretch it out a little bit. May have to take a couple pieces if it's a big potato. If it's a big tater, like this one is. This one, we're gonna go ahead and do three pieces. It's just a really big tater. All right? We want to wrap. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. There we go. Be like that. Woo! It's a good whole meal. What do you think? So I got enough bacon taken out here. Let's get that one again. Wish it together. Make sure your bacon stretched out a little bit. Not too much, or you'll rip it up. I don't want to do that now. These smaller ones should only take about two. Should. If it wasn't such a rainy day, I'd be taking these out for the barbecue. But as it is, I got my oven set, 375. Everything's cooked with the bacon. So obviously we're just gonna go ahead and make sure that the bacon's cooked. Smaller taters are better. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw another one on here just to do it. Uh, 
Let's do it. Right. I got some non-stick spray on this pan. I want that bacon to stick on there, do we? A couple more pieces and should be good. Push this bad boy. Ain't summertime around will burn down if we ain't using bacon on something. If we're not wrapping bacon around something, it ain't summertime around here. It's just how we do it. Alright. Just like that, y'all. I got one extra piece. Let's go ahead and throw that there. All right, 375 until the bacon is crispy. All right, y'all, it's that time again. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, it does me a lot of good, I tell you. You hit subscribe, it helps me out. Gives you notifications for every time I got a new video coming out. You can uh, go and check those out every time they come out. They come out twice a week, uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays. Other than that, I appreciate y'all. Let's get back after the food. Well, I'll tell you what, these things are impressive. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Y'all gotta come take a look at this. Come on. Alright, let's check this out, y'all. Look. You can see it. The cheese trying to come out. Man. This thing's gonna be just on point. Go ahead and cut into it here. Butter. Cheese bowl. Alright y'all. Look at that. Is that not great? Chicken bacon ranch, potato bombs. Man, that is just gonna be so good. And hot, but that's all good. We don't care, right? At least y'all shouldn't. Man, look at that. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. All right, y'all. Mm. Totally worth the pain. Totally worth the pain. That is really good. Man, look at this. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Man, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. So yeah, you can haul them out you know, like potato skins, but then stuff them, smash them back together, wrap them in bacon. Why wouldn't you, right? All right, y'all, make something. Make anything. Make Chicken bacon ranch potato skin bacon bombs, right? Why not? What else you got to do? I mean, you can make anything you want. Man, that's good. At least give it a try because I guarantee y'all are going to love it. I guarantee. I love it. Like, I want to stop talking. I want to love hanging out with y'all. 
man, that thing is calling my name. Is that good? All right. Uh, again, I hope you liked it, and until next time.